Hi, this is Christian Cantrell for Watch Report, and today I want to show you the Luminox SR71 Blackbird 9052. I'm going to start off by showing you the packaging because it's a little bit nicer than usual. We have a nice thick outer box here, and we have an inner wallet which zips and is uh, nice and padded. So this is a limited edition watch. It's limited to 999 pieces, which is why you see a little bit nicer packaging than what you might normally expect. I jump into macro mode here and get right to business. Start showing you the watch itself. You can see that it's uh, nice, stealthy looking. It's PVD coated, so it's nice and dark. We have the uh, the inverted LCD, which makes it uh, again look look fairly stealthy and unique. Uh, we have the uh, seconds going around the perimeter here. You can see them counting away there, and we also have some other indicators such as the uh, the alarm indicator and the hourly chime is turned on. Uh, for, for those of you who follow Watch Report or who are watch fans in general, you'll probably see that this watch is fairly reminiscent of the Omega X33, which is, uh, I think, what Luminox was going for here, sort of a, an affordable version of that watch, um, which is actually difficult to get your hands on these days uh, and very expensive, and I think that they've done um, a, a pretty nice job. This here, this crown up here, is for the inner bezel, and it's screw down, so that's kind of an interesting uh, feature on a watch like this, not something you'd normally see on an aviation watch. It's more than something you'd see on a diver. Let's screw that in there. And we have two pushers here. And we have the crown, which is actually a button as well, and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. We have a little bit of branding here, the, the Luminox logo. Um, unfortunately, it's just gone beneath the uh, minute hand here, but uh, underneath the minute hand, you have some very subtle branding, which just says, um, which just says Blackbird SR71. Um, so let's see, what else we have here? Um, it's about 44 millimeters across. If you count this crown here, you're about at about 50 millimeters. It's 15 millimeters thick. So um, not too thick, but also not too subtle. We don't want watches that are too small these days. Um, again, like I said, it's PVD finished. This is all stainless steel. Uh, case and bracelet, very um, uh, solid bracelet. Um, nice and quiet, solid end links. Uh, we have a dome sapphire crystal with um, inner uh, anti-reflective coating. Um, we have the uh, tritium tubes, of course, on the hour and the minute hand, which is what we expect from all Luminox watches. Um, again, it has the reverse LCD, which is in a unique look. Um, I see it on some Casios. You see it around some, sometimes, um, but it's, it's pretty unusual. I think it, it works really well for a watch called the SR71 Blackbird. It makes a lot of sense. Um, uh, let's see, so um, I'll show you the back here. We have uh, what's sometimes referred to as a sort of a sounding board, which is which is what allows the uh, the alarm to uh, to escape the case there. It doesn't have a, a hugely loud alarm, but it's, it's loud enough, not quite as loud as the uh, Omega X33, which is sort of, it's one of its major claims to fame, but it's loud enough. And then you see we have a nice um, rendering of the Blackbird there on the back, which is a very cool plane. Of course, we have a, um, a clasp here, a folding clasp. And I'll give you a quick show of what it looks like on the wrist. There you go. Now I have relatively small wrists keep in mind, and I think this fits fine. There's a lot of tolerance for burger watches these days, so I, I think it fits perfectly. This is this is just the kind of size I'm looking for. I don't want something small and dainty, uh, but I don't want something that's massive either. So this works well. Um, this watch is interesting because uh, when you hit the, um, hit the pusher here, you'll see that there's a uh, compass, which is kind of interesting and different. And I have it calibrated for my magnetic declination for where I am and uh, measured it against my iPhone's uh, compass and it was right on, just dead accurate. So that works quite well. It's really, really cool effect. Um, we have sort of uh, the time one mode, which you can leave it in here if you want to see the time. Uh, I had it before in you know what we call sort of seconds only mode. Um, so there's time one. Um, you see here uh, that we have the date um, and uh, various other um, uh, sort of um, configurations of the time. We have alarm, so there's there's an alarm mode here. Um, we have a uh, oops, sorry, we have a chronograph or a stopwatch. 
and we have um, other time zones here, time two and three, and we have a countdown timer, which is key. Always look for countdown timers on watches. I think they're very useful. And here we're, uh, we're back again into uh, seconds only mode. Um, so let's see, this is a quartz watch, obviously. Uh, the, I do want to mention that the analog time and the digital time are linked. Um, occasionally you'll see some sort of cheaper watches that have uh, um, sort of essentially a, a, a analog module and a digital module sort of glued together. Um, and, and they say, oh, it's, an, it's a digital analog watch. Um, and it's really not, this is two modules glued together. But this, of course, they're integrated. Um, and so, you know, there is one um, uh, sort of integrated time system. So you set the time digitally and it will change the, uh, the analog time as well, which is, of course, you know, the way it should be. Um, it has about a 45 month battery, which is, uh, which is reasonable, of course, for a watch like this, which is, you know, using a lot of power. It does, does a, uh, you know, it's very functional. So I think that's a reasonable amount of time. Um, and what's really interesting is we have uh, 100 meter water resistance, which is which is very um, very respectable for a watch like this. Um, aviation watches tend to have um, sort of uh, sort of um, you know less sort of impressive specs in terms of pressure proofness, but um, this is uh, this is pretty respectable at a, at 100 meters um, without a screw down crown. Even this crown does not screw down. I should mention this one does. This one does not. This is just a button. Um, so I think that's that's about all I can uh, think of to show you about this watch. Um, I'm very happy with it. I really like it. Uh, I think it's um, sort of different, uh, very stealthy. I think it's a it's a good alternative to the Omega X33, uh, and uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it's again, it's limited edition, 999 pieces. So if you want one, uh, you should probably jump on it pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.